something that I believe is critical in the work of UN women, uh, and that is the first championing of universality without exception. Sunday, and I had the tremendous honor of observing uh, two of the opposition protests on February 12th and 19th, which were inspired by the heroic Tunisian and Egyptian revolutions in which women played critical roles. Uh, many women were involved in the Algerian demonstrations, which... <laughs> lifting of the 19-year-old state of emergency, which did take place two days ago. Uh, so already a victory, but I'll say more about what that means, victory in brackets uh, for the protest movement. Uh, but they also called for nothing less than a total change in Algeria's political system. The single most moving part of the February 12th March for Change, from which you saw pictures, was the women's demonstration. About 30,000 police officers had tried to shut down a demonstration of some 2,000 women and men. <laughs> close to 1st of May Square in Algiers, and at a certain point, the feminist activists had had enough of this. And as you saw, they took up a position on the sidewalk with Algerian flags, singing the national anthem, chanting slogans for social change, for gender <laughs> for social justice, and they absolutely refused to be uh, removed from the space. One of the women involved, the prominent psychologist Sharifa Boata, told me the day before, as we watched the celebrations in Cairo uh, after the fall of Mubarak on television, she said, I have been waiting for this for years. This is the beginning. From the years of the fundamentalist terrorism of the 1990s and what came after here, everything seemed lost. Our hopes for a just society were dying, but now the possibilities are fantastic. <laughs> On February 12th, near 1st of May Square, Algeria's little Tahrir, as some have called it, Sharifa Bouata and the other women explored these possibilities, and they refused to cede to the police. The young pro-government counter-protesters who, like in Egypt, seem to have been hired by the authorities <laughs> repeatedly confronted the women. They really targeted the women protesters and even at one point began shouting in favor of an Islamic state as a sort of... the birthday of the Prophet Muhammad, which is a major holiday in Algeria, with a group of these women activists, discussing why they were taking part in the marches. Many of them are involved with a newly created coalition of women's rights groups known as the Observatory on Violence Against Women. They see what they call the women question as inherently a political question, and so their coalition joined the coordinating committee organizing the protests. They want issues like the abrogation of the discriminatory family code, for which religious justifications are often proffered, to be on the change agenda. And therefore, we must march, they say. To ghayr al nidham changing the system, as you heard the protesters chanting, for them also means absolutely ameliorating the condition of women and challenging social conservatism. I interviewed another woman who told me she was, she was going to the protests, even though she had to hide this from her family.